welcome back to another Mac Reacts. Today we're going through some more Am I the a Hole posts? And if you like videos like this, make sure you subscribe because I post five times a week every single week. Now, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's get into this first story. Okay, this says, Am I the a Hole for telling my parents I will be as compassionate to them as they are to me? I think you get back what you give in, so I don't disagree with the title, but let's see what they have to say. My parents have me, 15 male, and my sister, 11 female. My sister has special needs and is disabled physically. She was born missing a foot. Wow. Ever since my sister started showing signs of being special needs, my parents have been short-tempered with me. They've expected me to grow up and never be selfish, never try to take time from her, to always be understanding of her, and to never show I'm disappointed. Now that's not fair. <laughs> my sister has trouble regulating her emotions, struggles with crowds, struggles with change, and always needs something in her hand or she's screaming the house down and has been violently sick during a meltdown. They said she's considered developmentally delayed and that's why she behaves the way she does. I don't know everything though. My parents have always told people my sister is not autistic. Sounds autistic to me. I don't know what the problem is with using that word because it's just a word, but okay. Our life is ruled by my sister. We can have plans to go out to eat, and if she's not responding well to a specific day, it will be canceled. My parents gave up after the first year on birthday parties for me and told me her comfort has to come first. No, why don't you drop her off? Or why doesn't one parent stay home with her and the other parent go have a birthday party with the other kid? The one that make a lot more sense and be fair to everyone? When they told me they got firm and said they did not want to see me cry or look upset and would not take me making them feel bad. So we're gonna be completely unfair to you and you're not allowed to show any emotion about it and don't you dare make us feel bad about being ridiculous and mean and awful to you. Another time I was supposed to be going to a friend's house. My dad didn't want them coming to the house and he couldn't get my sister into the car so he called and canceled at the last minute. When I got upset he yelled at me and told me he was doing his best and mom was sick and why was I not helping out instead of trying to run off and enjoy myself like a little brat. So y'all decided to have a kid. She came out developmentally delayed and now this is your other son's responsibility? How? He didn't have that child. That is not his kid. Why? That is his sister. And he's not even that much older than her. Why is he responsible for her and her well-being? Sorry that you're stressed out. Maybe you need to find some extra help for her. There are resources. When we were all stuck at home, my sister got into holding onto one of our hands for hours. My parents were fine with it. I didn't like her doing it to me. I got yelled at for denying her the chance, which made her cry. Then I got told I wasn't being a team player and was giving them a hard time when their life wasn't easy either. Again, not his problem or his fault. Another time, I, silent, I was silent and had a sour face because she broke something of mine during a meltdown and my parents told me they were sick of my crap. I'm sick of their crap, actually. Ever since Christmas, my sister has gotten so much worse and there have been no okay days. Every day has been a bad one and they are in and out of the hospital. I have stayed out of the way as much as I can and I want to be nowhere near my parents. Yesterday, my parents asked if I would help out more this weekend, spend time with my sister and give them a break. It was the nicest they have spoken to me in years. I said, no, anyway. They told me to be compassionate to them. They are drowning. I told them I will be as compassionate to them as they are to me and I am not going to do more for them than they are willing to do for me, their kid. My parents told me I am being bratty for no reason. Am I the whole? absolutely not and my heart hurts for you because you are still a child 15 is a child and to hear you say things like i tried my best to stay out of the way a 15 year old boy shouldn't have to stay out of the way in his own freaking house he should be able to stand and take up space in his own house he should be heard he should be cared about he should be listened to this is just disgusting not the a-hole whatsoever I'm getting irritated. There's some comments. Let's see what they have to say. Not the a-hole. You are not a parent. Hello? Just what I was saying. If they need help, they need to hire help. Resources. Telling you that your feelings are invalid because they are struggling is just plain cruel. Sing it. I hope you get out as soon as you can and never look back. 
I will help you set up a GoFundMe. I'll be your first donor. Next says, please try your hardest to get out of the situation as soon as possible. I mean, do you have a grandparent? Do you have an aunt or an uncle that you can live with? Like, get out. They are toxic. They are disgusting and you don't deserve this. It hurts my mama heart to hear about a poor boy being treated this way but I cannot save them all. All I can do is give my judgment of not the a-hole. I wanna know what you think about that in the comments and let's move on to the next story. Okay, this says, am I the a-hole for the strict rules of my parents' renewal of vows? So you're scheduling a renewal of vows for your parents and you have strict rules for who? Yeah, whenever I hear strict rules for an event, I'm always like, but let's see if they have a good excuse. My mom married to my stepdad 20 years ago this year. It was kind of a disaster. My mom didn't get the wedding dress she wanted. My stepdad's mom was really cold towards my mom and I. And the worst part of the reception, my stepdad's adopted sister, Elle, told my mom she's not good enough for my stepdad. She never will be and will never be a part of the family. As the years have gone by, I've watched her and my dad's sister-in-laws treat my mom like crap, leave her out of everything and make her cry. I couldn't say anything doing to be a, due to being a kid, but I know my stepdad didn't stick up for my mom. He's a quiet man and would rather just not cause any drama. In 2021, my mom was rushed to the hospital. They found cancer and she had a tumor the size of a full term newborn in her stomach. She had to have a full hysterectomy and they almost lost her removing the tumor. Tumor. Here comes Elle. She shamed my mom and told her that literal cancer wasn't even that bad. And she should stop fishing for attention. My mom called me crying. I was livid. I knew Elle was an ass, but this? Elle is a Christian woman who works for her church. At one point after one of Elle's sons got attacked and nearly died, he was in a coma and suffered brain damage. All my di mom did was post praying for my nephew. This threw Elle into a rage and she called my mom to tell her to take down her comment and that her kids will never be my mom's nephew. Why are you being so ugly to her? What did she do? My mom cried and ended up deleting her social media. I'll be 27 this year. I only see my grandparents with my mom, dad, and sister. If other family will be there, I don't go. I used to go to every family reunion, but now I stay home. I don't want to cause drama around my grandparents. They're both in their 80s. This brings us to the renewal. My parents put me in charge of planning. After sister-in-law's complaining, they can't come because they're working a year in advance. I changed the invitation with my parents' permission. Semi-formal, if anyone comes out of dress code, they won't be allowed in. No kids from 3 to 13, but there are some exceptions, and Elle is not invited. She's disrespected me, my mom, and my sister multiple times over the year. My mom is going to get her dream day, and nothing is going to ruin it. Also, I don't want to see that evil woman. Elle found out and has been calling me disrespectful and rude all over social media, which I have her blocked on. She said I'm treating my mom as if she's a child and that she needs to grow up. Not everyone will cater to her. The sister-in-laws have agreed with her along with other families, so I made a single post. You don't like it, don't come. I don't care what anyone says. Elle is not invited and I will have her removed if she tries me. Anyone who has an issue with that can consider themselves uninvited. Elle and the sister-in-laws have been calling me an a so am I an a-hole for going so far? Nope. 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 Absolutely not. Like you said, your mom deserves one freaking day of happiness without that nasty freaking witch destroying her. Absolutely disgusting. Everyone on that side of the damn family can be uninvited for all I freaking care. Oh my god what is wrong with people like what and you're a christian you work at a church that just disgusts me and you wonder why religions are failing and why while why turnout is less and less every year because people like that call themselves christian jesus would literally denounce you for the way you act but you want to call yourself a christian y'all just got in sentiment just got inside the minute because I am so sick of these nasty people calling themselves Christians and being anything but. It's disgusting and you should be ashamed of yourself. <sighs> All right. Y'all, I'm fired up. There's some comments. Let's see what they have to say. Not the a-hole by any means completely agree. Simple and to the point. Next says, also, this L woman is no Christian. 
all of what she did goes ex directly against the teachings but you knew you know they always want to tout how outwardly good they are as hypocrites do next says religious christian and christ follower are not necessarily synonymous that's the thing you can call yourself a christian all you want but you are not a follower of christ because you're a nasty horrible human being that would not have even been allowed anywhere near your messiah next where are these real christians i keep hearing about people keep saying this but i haven't met any yet i grew up in the bible belt i don't know where else to look agreed 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 you can have your religion but don't, don't be a nasty person and call yourself a christian like you're embarrassing the real christians who i know are out there they're just the quiet ones it's the loud ones who are the who are the unreal christians i'm disgusted i want to know what you think about that one in the comments and let's move on to the next story before i lose my mind Okay, Reddit already says this guy is the a-hole, but let's see what we think. This says, am I the a-hole for setting an alarm in an apartment? On the surface, that doesn't sound so bad, but let's see why Reddit calls them the a-hole. So I set an alarm every day from, from 8.30 to 9 a.m. in order to get up. Reason is I have difficulties waking up. I've been doing this for years now, but recently got a new neighbor and he is the first to complain about my alarm. At first he complained about it. I apologized and said I would reduce the volume, which I did. And now it's half the volume it used to be and I barely hear it and makes it even harder for me to wake up. A few days after he complained about it again and honestly i have no idea what to do about it the volume is already super low and if i don't set up an alarm i would end up waking up at 10 to 11 a.m i believe the time i wake up is already late anyways but since i study at home or sometimes at the library it's just fine and offices start at 7 to 8 a.m anyways he also complained to us that when we had guests and our relatives had kids which were running around but would be rude to tell them okay what anyways he also complained to us when we had guests and our relatives had kids which they were running around but would be rude to tell the kids to sit down in front of his parents and he came to complain exactly when the guests were here is english your first language because i'm struggling on a note we have guests once or twice a year since we are far from relatives i'm honestly sick of him complaining all the time about things another neighbor of us has kids and uses a bike in the house even though it makes noises we literally told them it was fine and shouldn't worry about it and compared to them we literally make zero noises through the day i'm either studying or gaming with a headphone and my brother is on night shifts and sleeps through the day so i'm either equal for setting an alarm from 8 30 to 9 and should do things differently or just ignore the guy yeah bro an alarm going off for 30 minutes straight every single freaking day is not cool what is wrong with you why would you want to listen to that i mean is it like snoozing on and snoozing off it doesn't sound like it like if it rang like two or three times and you snoozed it like i doubt anyone would complain but a constant alarm sound from 8 30 a.m to 9 a.m every single day would annoy me too in the apartment let's see what the top comment has to say you are the a-hole we all agree you said in the comments the alarm is ringing constantly for 30 minutes this isn't an alarm going off it's an alarm going on and on and on fair my I, i'm a snoozer okay but it goes off for like 15 seconds and then i hit snooze like it's not a consistent sound that would bother anyone but yeah if i lived in an apartment and <laughs> And I had to listen to a freaking alarm going off for 30 minutes straight every single freaking day. Yeah, I'd have something to say about it. <laughs> okay, I want to know what you think about that one in the comments. Don't forget, we have a playlist of over 100 MID whole videos up here that you can binge. Please don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!